Bubble app security is an afterthought for many people, but it's essential that you get things right when building your bubble app in order to protect your users' data and protect content in your bubble app. That's why I'm excited to show you around today the Flusk Vault dashboard. And we're gonna dive right in and go and look at their checklists. Um, so they know Bubble. This is built for Bubble apps and that comes through very strongly. For example, we go through onto page sensitivity ratings and in the setup process, I've connected in a Bubble app and here are all of my pages uh, imported in. And I have to mark in order to check them off whether they are safe whether they contain sensitive data or they contain sensitive UI elements. And they have a large knowledge base to tell you exactly how to make a sensitive page properly secure in Bubble, doing it the right way. Flusk has the same checklist in place for your data types in your Bubble database. So here are all the data types that I've come across. And this is using a, uh, an app demo which is intentionally set up to be insecure. For example, you would never store card details, uh, credit card details, payment information, that sort of thing in a Bubble database. But you get an idea here. They build it all around the checklist. So I can simply say, ah, oh, this is sensitive, 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 and then I can, uh, yeah, and then it's marked as complete and I can save it. And the whole point of the Flask app is that it makes it really easy for you not to miss a thing. The headaches, the worries, the concerns, the endless testing, Flask takes care of it for you. You've got your pages, you've got your data types all taken care of, and it makes you meticulously go through and check to see whether they should be public or they should be protected or sensitive in this case. Let's move on to issues and see what we have here. So again, Flask knows Bubble. They know where it's easy to make mistakes, where uh, bits that you want to keep secure, such as API keys, leak through. Um, so we've got uh, you know, a public sensitive parameter in API call. It's just asking you to check it. And you can, if you know that you've got it right, you can ignore it. But you can also view how to resolve the issue. They've got a really in-depth knowledge base going on. In fact, I would say that, that uh, the, the knowledge base alone is worth the purchase because they've just put the time into really simply step-by-step -step creating instructions to help you ensure that your app is secure. You'll notice that uh, Flask imports the different versions of your app. In this case, we just have a test version and a live version. So not only does it give you a checklist, but it also splits out and it makes sure that your live version is just as secure as your dev version and vice versa. So let's have a look at Resolve here. What's the advice? Uh, Okay, yeah, there may be a data leak based on a particular data type. Okay, look, screenshots. All really helpful information and additional resources as well provided in there. So the Flask app has detected that I don't have a strong password policy in place. And that is just so vital because you can trust Bubble that their infrastructure is secure. You can build your app and tick off everything in the Flask dashboard uh, to ensure that you've not made a mistake, but then the weakest link in your app is your user password. So you can insist that your users have a stronger password and Flask is going to guide you through the process on how to do that. So if you're building a bubble app, this is an essential tool to go through and check off everything that Flask highlights to you could be a security issue. Once you've got Flask connected to your bubble app, you can schedule Flask to do additional scans in the future. You can even download an iOS app to ensure that you get notifications as soon as Flask identifies any issues with your app. The final tool I want to show you in the Flask dashboard is the privacy rule checker. This itself is worth its weight in gold because if I just click on it, it's going to highlight if I've made any potential issues within my privacy rules. So it's going to scan through my app, it's checking all the data types I've got, and it's going to come up with a list of where it thinks I could make improvements, or at least should check and be conscious uh, about the privacy rules I've set up. So we're seeing here that both the credit card and user data types are set up to be secure. But I've actually run this automatically on my, uh, if I click cancel, uh, on my live version, and I'm going to now run it on my test version. 
because I think this is going to show up more issues. Remember, I'm intentionally using an app that has not got any best practices in terms of security in order to illustrate how easily the Flask app picks up these issues. So, yeah, we're seeing here that uh, there is, it's, you know, it's pulling data out of the database. It's showing me uh, made up card numbers. It's showing me email addresses. So that's a pretty big warning. It's all in red that I need to head back into my bubble app. And before I deploy this leaky development version to live, I need to set up the appropriate privacy rules with my data. There's not a single bubble app creator I know who wouldn't benefit from becoming a Flask user and being able to go through the checklist that Flask generates in order to ensure that your app is secure. And so to get started with Flask, we've got a link down in the description. You can sign up today and within five minutes, you can have Flask scanning your bubble app and identifying any potential issues and ultimately giving you that peace of mind that you have done the right things with setting up your bubble app for both security and privacy.